guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aki from Aki's Place. Today, I wanted to show you my weekly routine. So it'll be my watering routine. Um, so for me, I don't have like over 150 plants and I like everybody's different, right? But like for me, weekly routine watering is so much easier than like looking at the plant and like seeing a sign when they need to water. Cause sometimes I will forget, I'm pretty sure I'll forget. Like I, I have forgotten some of the plants and like actually killed it from um, underwatering. So um, weekly routine works best for me. So just wanted to show you how I water my plants so i have this two so these are all four liter water and these two are from the fish tank water so um on sunday or monday i normally clean the fish tank and then use that water to water plants because they're really good um uh, for like a, it's a natural nutrients for the plants right so i use this two to water plants so like if i can't get done with the fish tank cleaning i can't water plants so it's like um it does keep me like how do you say it like like it's like <laughs> i don't know how to say it but like it, it gets me on a routine like i can't really get lazy because if i don't clean the fish tank then fish tank's gonna get dirty and you can see it gets like really nasty so if i don't clean the tank i can't water the plant so the cycle stops but um anyway so these are from the fish tank water and these two are just the tap water but normally i said sit it out for like a few days for the chlorine to evaporate but i forgot to do that so these are um the regular tap water today but they're not that harsh but so what i do is these are fish tank water so i just use like one full um bottle to water all the like calitheas and alocasia that are more sensitive to um chemicals in the water and then for the this one i would just like water half and then add this water into it and also use um marfil fertilizer i don't know if it makes it too much because this is also fish poo water but um i don't add in this fish tank water but when um like when i start adding water into here i i will add some of these as a fertilizer so why don't we just go along and like show you how I water my plants okay let's okay let's go around the house sorry for the mess if you do see a mess but um so here's my alocasia friday um this one gets really thirsty because this chest actually heat up like a, it works as a heat pad so I do water quite a lot because the water evaporates really quickly and it has also grow light so it's it, it does I don't know I don't think the light evaporates the water from the soil but it's definitely the heat from this um, lamp that I have under here it's really warm so the water evaporates very quickly and look how like fast it's it's growing like it's it's producing new growth like non-stop and this new one that I, that's coming out is gonna be a massive you can see how big it is okay now let's go to the next plant sorry my husband's working something else okay now i'm just gonna go around to water all these calitheas and um marantas i guess it's hard to see i don't water it too much because it's i water it weekly so i don't want it to um over water so this is what is it a syngonium alvo and here is my another Moranta. As you can see, like I don't water so much. And this alocasia, uh, what is it? Regal Shield. It needs water. Look how droopy it is. So this guy needs water. There we go. 
Okay, so in this shelf on the here is my begonia. They're also sensitive to chemical in the water, so I water it together with the um, calitias and I forgot what this alocasias. I cannot reach and I cannot see there. The water is going in. Sorry, I don't know if you're seeing it. But I should be in the and I'm out. So my water can I love it so much, but it's not big enough, so I have to fill it up quite a lot. Let's see if I can do this without spilling. I will definitely spill it. There you go. So begonias need watering. But this is begonia Elsa. I don't know if you can see. Sorry, I don't think you can see it at all. But this one has a drainage hole, and I think all of it has a drainage hole, but this one has Leka underneath, so it's okay. Like, I can water quite a lot, and then the rest of the water will go through, and Leka Ball is going to absorb it, and it works as a good, um, giving it a good humidifier, humidity. And in this shelf, I think it's okay. So let's move on to... Um, the bedroom. Hey, Peanut. Hey, you. What you doing? Taking a nap? Hmm, good for you. In this room, here's the. This is, um, a Stromanti Trio Star. They're all so sensitive to water, I think. So I'm just gonna water this as well. really hard to see so I don't know if I'm like watering a lot or not too much I hope it's not too much and also here is my alocasia um, ivory coast I'll water this okay and what else I think that's it for the one that are um, sensitive. So I'm just gonna water rest of it like a regular watering. So um, these are really thirsty plants. So I'm just gonna water this now, and it's getting a lot of new growth. I really love it. Um, this is a variegated holly. The new growth starts coming out very shiny, as you can see, like pinkish shiny, and then gradually. Like you see this, you can see the variegation coming out. Uh, this is so beautiful. I'm so happy that I got this plant this year, and it's it's growing so well now. It's happy. I have to water it twice a week, so I water it today and I water it on Wednesday, and it's doing really good. If I did a weekly watering like the rest of the plant, it was like losing all the leaves. So it needs to be the soil has to stay moist. And what else do I want to water? I'm just going to water this pagoda lipstick as well because it's here. There you go. Okay. I hope I didn't water too much. And then there's Hoya here. So I'm just going to, oops, water this one. And I need to fill up again, so I'm gonna go back. Let's pause it. Okay. I forgot there's one more plant that is sensitive to chemical, which is Pylea uh, peperomioides. I forgot, I haven't called this plant in a long time. I, thought, I hope I did it right. So these guys are also sensitive to chemicals, so I'm giving some water. It's growing a lot of new growth, so it's okay, but like I've lost a lot of leaves in the bottom as you can see, but it's okay um, And then I'm just gonna go feed the regular plants My ficus Audrey, not Audrey, ficus um, tineke Go And the regular Is it burgundy? I cannot see it's hard to film and water at the same time. I don't want to overwater. And then here's the Monstera Peru. 
like I I'm not watering it too much like this probably doesn't even like drain through the uh, bottom because I'm not I don't water like too much because it's it's winter and even though this room does get a lot of sun and the soil does get dry up quickly I still don't water that much I think they will be fine like this like it, it's been fine the way I'm doing it okay I have to fill it up again and then oh, I think I'm gonna water more the poinsettia I haven't killed it so hopefully I can keep it alive until next Christmas Winsetta is also a thirsty plant, so I water it twice a week. It's my fiddle, like poor fiddly fig tree. I moved them around too much and it didn't like it, so I lost a lot of leaves, but it's growing new, new growth, so it should be okay. And also my bird of paradise, they have one leaf left now, but I, I watered this twice a week as well, so she's doing much better. There we go. Now I need to fill up again. Okay, these are my rehab greenhouse, and this one is um, Raphidophora tetrasperma. Most of them die from the threats, so this is like the last leave. I'm like really hoping it will come back. This because this was a sent from my mom from Japan, so I think this is a um non-tissue culture one i think and my white princess philodendron white princess um this one oops sorry guys this one did not do well because it didn't like leka i tried to put it in leka and it didn't like it so um i have to cut the mother plant and that was the baby one and it's coming back and this one is a philodendron cream splash i got it from the plant swap and it didn't really make it from the from the sending in the package it was just all rotted because it took about a week but this is like two stems that survive and it's finally coming back and this one i forgot uh i forgot the name one of the Gosh, I, I'm growing it from the seed. My friend, uh, plant friend, gave me some seed for this plant, so I will have it on the screen. And is oh, uh, I had this is my second batch. First batch, I killed it because I think because I wasn't paying too much paying uh, attention, paying attention during Christmas season because the tree was out and I couldn't really get to this plant. But second batch is growing very well. I'm having um, this is. Like now the leaves are out, it doesn't like too much humidity maybe, so I'm just having a little bit of hole to make the aeration. And um I'm gonna close this. Did I water this? Yeah, Cebu Blue. I got it from the plant swap. I think I watered it. So I'm not gonna water too much. Cebu blue was from my uh from the plant swap as well, and it's growing well. And I have one that's I'm propagating right here. It's finally starting to root, as you can see, to make it fuller. And that's it for my greenhouse here. And let's just keep going. Umbrella plant. Just a little bit. So this is um, pink brush aloe. It's starting to bloom again. And um, I'm not going to water cacti today. I would normally water my cacti twice a month and this week is not watering. Next week I will water it. And succulents I do water every week. Um, so this is jade plant. This is um, jade plant from my mother and this one's supposed to bloom but it has not bloomed for me yet. Oh, this. And I will water these. This is cactus. Um, what is that? Easter cactus. And here's my Thanksgiving cactus that is going to bloom. I had one blooming and then uh, rest decided to bloom too. So I'm looking forward to all this 
buds to open up soon and this is um well actually these are cactus but i water them still good they, yes Wes. these are more thirsty so I, you you want what you want food okay can you wait until mommy's done watering and then um i will just show you later on this side but i'm not gonna water it now i'm just gonna go around water my hoya let's see not much not so much there you go there like i don't water at all like i don't even bother to like lift the pot to see the water is down there so i don't want to water too much there you go that's good enough okay and then there's the philodendron neon this one does get thirsty because it's on top of the chest so i will water a little bit more but the water is out so let's continue um i water this i forgot the name cacti and succulents are so hard for me to remember so you can see i'm just gonna water a little bit these are on the thirsty side so i'm gonna water a little bit now those are thirsty i'll water this and water that <laughs> I forgot about this shelf. There's some Calithias in there. So, let me water this. Not so much. A little bit. This, I remember, I over, kind of over watered it, so I'm not going to water it now. Okay. And I watered, I actually repotted it recently and watered it, so I don't think it needs to be watered. I'm going to water this. Um, Anthurium Clever. Clavanium and filament and pink princess. What a bit. Also, this um, alocasia black velvet. Let me go. And then Hoyas. Not so much. in the shelf water my skin duck this pick this and also peace lily I miss this in the morning I miss the liquors in the morning so that it gets a little humidity from the liquor ball I do water quite a lot with this one because it's in a big pot and it's always thirsty. There you go. And then my can is also empty, so um, I forgot. This is almost, I don't even know if it's alive, but I'm gonna water this. It's a Calithia Mosaica. I just hope that it will come back one day, but nothing's happening. Okay. Okay, now this is the second bottle for the fish water and fish tank water. It's almost empty. I just want to... Oops, let make it stand. Just going to add the tap water onto the half of the... the leftover fish tank water
there. Pull up fish poop. And also, I think I'm almost out. I'm gonna add a little bit of marble. There's no donut. Um, I'm gonna get back to the shelf. Um, I think I'm gonna water ZZ plant. This ZZ, I don't know why, but I feel like this is a lot more thirstier than the regular ZZ, so I water it twice a month. Normally, the regular one I water once a month, but I water it twice a month. And let's go to my son's room. And this one is also once a month. And then the once a week, I just give them the whole water for this one because it's a big pot. So I'll have to fill it up again and come back. It's actually a good, good exercise going back and forth. I don't get any exercise these days, so there. There you go. It's growing so well. You can see all these new leaves. Um, it's just a newest leaf right here. And it's just non-stop giving new growth. That's the newest. And this is also like recent leaf as well. This is also as well and it's so huge. Okay. To um, ponytail palm, I water this. Okay, that's good. I can't really see, but this wax ivy is right under the air co uh, heater, so it does get quite dry. So I'm gonna get a little bit more than I do compared to the other plants. And I forgot Josina or something like that. It's uh, just thirsty looking because all the leaves are looking sad. We'll get more water. And my um, money plant is doing so well here. I'm gonna give a little bit as well. I can't really see. Okay, that's good enough. And my syngonium. There. Not so happy, but it's doing okay. The waters, I believe there's still water underneath, so I'm not gonna water too much. And let's go to my son's room. The other son's room. The Sonia is finally recovering from thrips. I'm starting to take off now. Okay, that's good enough. Now I have to go back again. I'll pause. Okay. Back to my son's room. Some avocado trees that needs watering. I mean, actually, every every plant in the house needs a watering set cacti. There you go. Another one. And here you go. I recently trimmed off oh, the googly eye. Came off. Recently um, trained them back, pruned them, so you can see they're branching out. All the avocado that I trained are branching out, so which is a good thing. This one I recently um, brand, uh, pruned it, so it hasn't. Uh, I don't see any new growth coming out, but it will eventually. Now is a good time to prune if you have an avocado tree and um, Algerian. Irrigated ivy, here you go. And what else? Oh, here. Holodendron Brazil. Nice watering. I can't really see. I know. Water. Okay. That's good enough. There you go. So that's all the plant. I have my son's room that's been watered. I have my telarium in here. Oh, what is that mushroom? It's doing very well in here. Oh, here. I keep seeing these mushrooms growing inside, which is a good good thing. Um, it means it's healthy. The echo 
echo cycle, the natural cycle is happening. I also spotted it on Roly Poly the other day. I can't find them anymore, but it's somewhere. So it's it must be really good um, in there. Okay. Back to the bedroom. I'm going to water things. Pull those. Um, I don't know why it's not doing so well. I think it did have thrips for a little bit. I think they're all gone, but I think that's where the... It just wasn't happy. Um, maybe the insecticide spray. And my monstera needs watering. Like, big pots, I will water a lot. Like, a lot long, like, a lot much than the, the smaller pot. Okay, now I have to fill up again. <laughs> there you go. Now I gotta go fill it up. Hey you. And back to bedroom, and I have to get on the bed to water my mikeins. There we go. And my. Uh, what's that? Satin potos? Cool. And also regular philodendron. Okay. And here up here, the Hoya Crimson Princess. Or is it Queen? I think it's Queen. There. And what else? There you go. More ficus. Audrey. And Octosema. That's it. And I think I wanted that. So plumerias, I will add different type of fertilizer today, so I'm not gonna water with this. Um these are going dormant. So I hardly water. I shouldn't water today, actually. I should just water it on some months. So these are like hibiscus and um, I forgot hibiscus and um, this is I forgot the name but mamila villa mamila or something like that. So if there's no leaf, do not water unless you see like they're really shriveled. Um, yeah, I normally water once a month, so I didn't really need to water it today. And what else? Um, did I water philodendron? No. So philodendron birkin needs watering. I think that's it in this bedroom. Oh, other than the plumeria. They're getting... Uh, I will have to do a growth tip on my plumerias. But um, they're actually coming back from... Like, they were going dormant, but then I decided to wake them up. But they go light and they're starting to grow a lot of new growths. Okay. And that's it for the oh no, there's one more. My exotica. Right here. And these watering. I have to move that laundry basket to get up there. Let's pause it. Okay, my exotica. I always forget. Chair and water. There, that's enough. Okay. And that's it for the bedroom, I think. This is a uh, snake plant. So I'll water it once a month. So which is next week, um, like beginning of the month, I will water. Okay, and that's it for this room. Peanut. Hi. What you doing? He looked, he, I have a bird feeder out there, so he likes to sit here and look at the birds. Okay, actually I have more in the living room to water. I have to water this. Another skin depth this up here. Here we go. Okay, I think that's enough. 
and I'm gonna have to take that to the sink and water because it does I don't have any tray underneath and then rest go back to the show now that my husband's not there um I forgot what they are philodendron neon or something those are two big one and the small one and peperomia is it angulata or something like that this is the only peperomia actually with a turtle um what's that turtle string of turtle that survived through my threat infestation and um reverted philodendron burrow marks hoping one day the variegation comes back fingers crossed and some hoyas have to fill up again okay that's my hindu unpack the i think i need to get more over here because i don't think i wanted that much there you go and then these are all my hoyas it's sorry all over just give me just gonna give it a little bit of water like really not much as you can see i don't water too much i'm spilling everywhere okay i'm just gonna go with the big pot first because i normally use a little spout to water the smaller pot okay Go. There you go. I don't wanna. I go and carry on. Okay. The rest I have to. I'll show you here. Uh, the waxy ivy. Waxy ivy. Okay. Can't reach. Oh. There you go. Um, and then shingle heart. That's I don't know. It's kind of barely alive, but and then I have to change the spout. Um, okay. Now I use this to water the rest of the Hoya because I cannot reach it with the other can. So, let's put this down. Okay. And let's keep going. It's really hard to get to, so this works much better. I water my cacti and hoyas with this. Sorry, I can't. It's hard to film with one hand and water at the same time. There you go. There's some peduncles on the hoya hucanzelina or something like that. This one blooms all the time. This is lipstick plant and uh, the tonda folia. Okay, I think and uh, lastly, lunarius. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, I think it's it. Oh, and then. Um, no, I will water next month. This is Stefania Erecta. I will water it next week. Actually, oh, the cord. I'm sorry, I'm just going everywhere. This is a Calithia Orbifolia. I'm hoping we'll come back. Needs to be watered. And actually, I should water it with the fish tank water. I'm gonna water it with the tap water. There you go. Okay, I think that's it. 
my water, everything. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna water Plumeria with um, this fertilizer. I water it with once in two weeks to promote um, to bloom. So, it's just a little bit, maybe half. Not much, like half of this. I pour it here. It's not food, peanut. Water the plum area. So this one, uh, it's just a regular flowering um, fertilizer. There, I forgot. Is it ten thirty? Hmm? I think it's 10... Wait a minute, I can't see. <laughs> Sorry. It's 15, 30, 15. So, if you can get like the middle number for higher to make it bloom, but I think 30 works fine with my plumerias. I have it in the past, used this 15, 30, 15, and it bloomed just fine. Okay, so these guys need watering with this. I do water a lot with this plumerias to make sure the water goes through the drainage hole. And this one as well. Especially when I have the fertilizer in. Like, make sure that water is going through the drainage. Oh. I'll have to wipe that later. You can go you be fed by kabooch. So. So you on the fin jacks now. And. Oh, that's you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you. You can just drive me backward. Because I think I can drive backward. I, I will do it for you, guys. I will do it. Um, okay. So I water a little bit too much. The water's already. Hi, oh no! I don't want it. Hi, Wes. Uh oh. Now I have a chaos here. I water it a little too much. Too generous. Like, normally I would not water it. Like, I see a little bit coming out from the drainage hole, and that's it. But not <laughs> to the point where it's overflowing. Okay. Hi, mommy. My plumeri. Uh. Hi, mommy. I hibiscus can catch the water. What are you saying? I'm trying to water this plant, Wes, and make a video to show everyone how mommy water plants. I know how to do that. It will not die. I can just water everything. I know. Okay, so... I can just just, water the trees. Okay, and and that's good. Water I'll snow. have to come back and like this. But and then make snow <laughs> This hibiscus will do fine. Okay, and this one's also, um, we're just gonna drain it into this, uh, one of these hibiscus. <laughs> but, um, let's switch. So, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope it, it wasn't, um, it didn't turn out to be too boring. <laughs> but this is how I water my plants weekly. It's so much easier for me to manage all the watering because I have like too many plants at this moment I can't do like you know going around to see which one needs watering every few days so this works best for me and um, let me know how you do your watering um, as well so thank you so much for coming see you in my next one bye are you going to play with me I will play with you in the bed okay hi bye <laughs>